Hey, how you doing today? My name is Brilliant, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Hollow Knight, and I'm going to show you all of the cut content from the original base game. So down in the description below, you're going to see a link to this website here, the moddb.com, and we're going to get you to the Hollow Knight Cut Content Mod 1 Steam 1.0.3.7. So what this mod is going to do is allow us to use unused rooms left over from development, but it doesn't work for the most recent version of the game and that's because after version 1.1.4 it removed those unused rooms so fair enough we're gonna have to down patch the game to 1.0.3.7 before we use this mod so there's a link down in the description for how to down patch hollow knight and then from there you're gonna download this mod here and then once it's all installed and everything's good to go, you can then jump into Hollow Knight over here on Steam version 1.0.3.7, jump right in, and we're going to be able to see this cut content. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So as you can see, the version number is down on the bottom left hand side of the screen. We're going to go ahead and hit start game. And for some reason, it's using one of my old save games. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but uh, we'll take it. Um, so hopefully I've already got some upgrades and, uh, hopefully we've also got the wayward compass. That would be awesome. All right. So we just loaded in and up at the top, right, you can see the room says abyss 07. So that's kind of interesting. And I mean, obviously this looks like, this looks like Hornet's room, right? I mean, of all places, let's see, do we have a spot on the map? Do I even have wayward compass? I do have wayward compass on but does it show our location on the map? It says Forgotten Crossroads, which we're definitely not at the Forgotten Crossroads. If anything, we should be in this area over here. Or wait, down in the abyss? Yeah, it's it's not showing us correctly, so that's fine. Um, okay, it looks like there's nothing off the side. I should probably put on my headset so I can hear if there's any walls that are acting funny. All right, so now I can actually hear what's going on. Okay, nothing special there. So it is interesting that they've got a working bench. And so the way this mod's gonna work is whenever I press F2, it's gonna switch to a different scene. So just kinda look around and see what's here. Oh, interesting, look at the way the walls are. It looks very much like uh, the tunnels when we are over near, uh, oh, what is it, the, oh, that's it, uh, the White Palace. This has a, there's a couple of tunnels that look like this near the White Palace, but it also kind of looks like, uh, I, I, I don't know. It, it, it looks like it's something that's been dug. It's a very long room. Check that out. That's really weird. So we'll, we'll leave here in just a second. I just want to kind of explore the top real quick. It's interesting. Like there's, there's drawings and, and stuff at the bottom, but not for the top. And it's not like completely done, which is kind of interesting. All right. All right. And apparently in this game file, I don't have the crystal heart ability, which is just kind of silly, but that's all right. At least we got the wall jump and the double jump. Do I? Oh, I do have crystal heart. Okay. It was just not working in that one spot, which is kind of weird too. I wonder if any of these walls are breakable. But it is interesting how the walls are only kind of half built. Let's see if we can get up anywhere. That we're not supposed to because that would be cool just explore it to the best of our abilities hmm all right well it seems like it's fairly tall i just love how much detail went into this room here and seeing as it's the abyss 07 i mean this has got to be this has got to be something with hornet especially with all the spools of thread that are going on um and the the balls are like yarn back there so many nails man it just looks really cool all right so from here we're gonna go to the next scene All right, and if I press N. All right, so it's abyss 07. So this is the same spot. If we hit F2 again. All right, so now we're somewhere new. It looks like a, definitely like a dreamer area, but if you look at the background, those look very similar to, uh, whatchamacallit, the knight's horns. It's clearly one of the dreamers, but we can't talk to him and we can't deal any damage. And this area is called Dream Guardian. Kind of interesting. I wonder what, uh, 
what you would have done here. I wonder if you were supposed to talk with the dreamers and maybe there was like an extra cutscene or dialogue either before or after you freed all the dreamers. I don't know, kind of interesting. Let's see, I wonder how far we can go before it ends. Oh, not very far. Oh, was I able to make it back up? Nope, definitely not able to make it back up. Now where's it gonna kick me out? Interesting. Interesting that it would put me here. And I kind of want to see in this older version of the game, what was on the other side of that stag station, right? Let's see. Alright, so now we made our way over to the palace grounds. And I wanted to see the other side of this wall and wanted to know exactly where it was. I thought that the hidden stag station was still there and apparently this wall is still there. It's it's before that update. Honestly, I, I can't remember off the top of my head which update that was, but that's just kind of interesting. It's really interesting that they would have uh, put Hornet's room, if that was Hornet's room, right here. Like why, why here? You think it would have been near like the beast den or something like that. So. I don't know, just something to something to think about. Something that makes you go, hmm. All right, let's check out the next room. All right, so this one's actually fairly complete, it looks like. Check this out. Let's go. I would imagine this was probably a spot that you had to break once you went through the room. So let's go down first. Okay, so the walls are all built out. And again, look at all the details and look at the, whatchamacallit, uh, they almost look like dream catchers, but it's definitely something related to the dreamers in the background, right? All those little, uh, yeah, the dream catcher stuff. It doesn't seem like any of the walls are breakable. And look at this right here. See how it's, uh, it's black? That, that little piece right there? It's like the, the room's almost complete, but I don't know. It's kind of interesting seeing it, like, both complete and not complete at the same time. Oh, and real quick, the name of this area is the Resting Grounds 11. So, yeah, definitely. Oh, there you go. There's, there's like, the, the moth-looking things, right? Wow, what a cool area. There's a lot of these guys. Oh, this looks like it should be, like, a hole in the ground. I wonder... Oh, I don't have any, uh, don't have any soul, but it doesn't look breakable or anything like that. Can we come over here? Okay, okay. Not really a way to jump up that wall. But man, again, look at all the detail in the back. And so many moths. And it looks like we're we're looking at the back side of them, I'm pretty sure. So it's almost like, are they looking at something in the background? Just a really cool area. Let's see if we can kind of come up a little bit more. We'll come across really awesome and it looks like these statues have been here for a very long time oh look at this little uh this little uh spot right here this is very similar in uh one of the videos i did with the secret rooms of where you could dream nail and get inside of the secret area with all of the backers right um, I'll leave a link to that down below if you haven't seen it yet i wonder if this was originally going to be a secret room that then just got scrapped. I mean, this looks way cooler than the the one little statue that they put in the resting ground. So again, this is called Resting Grounds 11. I wonder why they decided not to go with this one and instead went with the, the lone statue. Pretty sure it's just one statue by itself. But anyway, let's, uh, let's go back up and around and see what else is in this room. Very interesting. Very ornate, that's for sure. Oh, I thought there was... Oh, here we go. Here's our way up. And it looks like there should be something there. Alright, just like that. I think that's pretty much everything for this room. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think that this room was used for? Um, in... Other than, other than it's being so rocky, oh, I guess we should probably check to see, yeah, see, Forgotten Crossroads is where it's showing us. Other than it being so rocky, and it's saying that it's part of the resting grounds, do you think that this would have been part of the resting grounds before they had it being in the back part where the fountain is? You guys know what I'm talking about. 
I don't know. I, I feel like this should have been that room, but is is what it is. Let's go ahead and uh, let's check the next room. I honestly, I have no idea how many rooms there are. We'll, we'll just keep going until we, uh, we run out. Whoa! That's cool. This reminds me of the Hollow Knight Silk Song trailer where we see uh, Steel Soul Jin looking guys who are going around with their with their lasers. Doesn't this look fairly similar? All right, so check this out. This is the Hollow Knight Silk Song announcement trailer from Nintendo Switch, and those are the Steel Soul Jin guys I was telling you about a second ago. Um, I don't I don't know. Obviously, the color palette's very very different, and it definitely does look more underwater in that it's like more of a kelp algae uh seabed uh much more than this much more than the the other place that we're looking at it doesn't look exactly the same by any means but there's there's some similarities there's some slight similarities granted this area that we're looking at right now is more rocky it kind of reminds me a little bit more of the lake of Oon and Oon's area so let's pull that up real quick all right so this is a video i did on how to find Oon and the related lore tablets and check this out this area is exactly the same i mean this is this is it it's same kind of rock same kind of like weeds and things that are growing out of the ground i mean check it out this right here versus this right here it's the same area. I mean, you, you, there's no mistaking it. It's the same stuff. So let's go ahead and explore it. Uh, so this area, as you can see up top, is called Fungus 133. So maybe it was meant to be in roughly the same area. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, it does say we're in Green Path. So maybe it was supposed to be part of the Lake of Oon area. Very interesting. Nailed it. All right, all right. So definitely not something from Silk Song. I I don't know. I I I just see Silk Song stuff all over the place. I, I I can't wait. I can't wait. All right. So we can't get up from the sides, and we can't get up over here. Man, it looks like there's something else up there. Man, it really does. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with this for a second, and if I can get it, we'll cut over. There it is. Got it. All right. All right. We made our way up. And I wonder how far we can go up. And is anything breakable? I, I doubt anything's going to be like interactive and, and actually breakable, but I'm just glad I was able to jump out of that pit and explore just a little, little bit more. So far, so far, nothing breakable or special or anything anything like that yet but I mean this is a pretty big area there's a lot to it again another another tricky jump eh, not too bad it just looks crazy how many uh how many little vines and things there are right it's very much more uh, deep nest like all right so let's go left first and then we'll drop down to the right because the right side looks like it's a lot bigger but I mean, it feels like they would have put something here, like a like an extra charm, or or something, you know. Yeah, this area is just massive. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the right side now. I don't want to miss anything. It just seems. It's just such a big area to not have done something with, I guess. Right, is it, where is this gonna? I'm also just waiting to hear something like scary, right? Again, so this this feels like it should have been a spot where either is a charm or uh, a chest or some sort of like a uh, ore location, something like that, right? Or no, in Team Cherry, they they could have trolled with a with a little fight. Enemy pops up out of nowhere. Oh, hopefully I can get back out of this area. Oh, don't tell me I'm stuck. Okay, we're good. Now, we made our way to the left, we made our way to the right, and we're going to keep going up a little bit. Wow, this place just keeps going. Okay, okay. I 
again. I feel like there. I, I feel like I'm gonna find more stuff like hidden in the walls, but I I doubt they built it out that much. All right, so to left and right. Just trying to keep mental notes of where I've been and where I need to go. So this was the area I didn't take. Okay. Just trying to find. See if there's just any little thing, right? Yeah, let me know down in the description below. What what do you what do you guys think of this area? Look at this. Little little secret hidey holes and stuff, you know? Like you would th this would have been one of those areas where you couldn't see up in there until you until you jumped up there and then it goes ding. You know? That would have been a cool little spot. I'm I'm legitimately surprised that this keeps going. Like, what the heck? And there was still a whole nother area over to the right that we didn't get to. So, oh, I wonder if this takes us up and out somewhere? Where does this connect to? Oh, I wonder if it doesn't connect to anything and we just crashed it. Fair enough. I legitimately think that just happened. So, we're going to restart it and we have to go up and to the right and we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we made our way back in, and this is the part where we went left and right. We're going to go up from here. And, okay, so here we went up and to the left in the last round. So this time we're going to come up and to the right. Oh, and there's literally nothing else. There's just that little outcrop right there. And I think the only thing left is back where we were before. All right, so with that... Just making sure that there's nothing else over to the right. Yep, just another one of these. So this is this is where we crashed out before. So we didn't miss anything in this room. That was everything in its entirety, uh, short of me missing a, a breakable wall. But honestly, I don't think that there's anything built out enough to, to even have a breakable wall um, inside of this, this area at all. I, I highly, highly doubt it. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next room. All right, so this one's called Fungus 329. And as you can see, there's no, I don't know if textures is the right word, but it is not completely built out at all. Obviously, it's just a bunch of squares and lines. And we'll just kind of explore it a little bit to see kind of what's here. I mean, it says fungus. Let's see where we are with Wayward Compass. It says we're in the Forgotten Crossroads, which is kind of interesting because the last fungus one we were at said Green Path. So I think that's a little bit interesting. Kind of come up and around. It's weird seeing the game without anything, you know, just, just everything taken away. Just everything so, I don't know if linear is the right word, but... Everything's just so straight and rigid. Uh, I think that's one thing that's interesting about Hollow Knight is there's actually no curves. I think I remember hearing somebody say. And that everything's either a wall that you can jump on like this or it's just like kind of down and over. Or if there are any curves, it just like makes you... I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I heard something about there either being no curves or very few, which made it kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, okay, so there's really not a whole lot to this to this room, but I don't know, kind of fun to explore. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Interesting, so we're at another fungus room, again at the Forgotten Crossroads, and it's, it's interesting how many assets that they have that look like this and how much these got built out just to have them be completely scrapped. Like, there's a lot of stuff that looks like this. I wonder if, like, the whole, the area where Oon is was meant to be more, more explorable. Oh, interesting. So this is a dead end. Okay. So there's really, really nothing to this room. But, I don't know. Kind of, again, kind of cool. I just like exploring all this stuff. Like, my imagination goes wild with what could have been or what were they thinking? What, what were the thoughts of these rooms when they originally put in and I have a feeling that if I go up it's gonna crash it but let's give it a shot 
Mm -hmm. Oh, we hear, hear Cornifer. But I can't hit select and I can't get to the Wayward Compass. And that's pretty overpowered. If they can take away your ability to get to the Wayward Compass, you've got nothing left. It's kind of deep. Kind of interesting to think about. So anyway, this is crashed. We're going to go ahead and restart and we'll get to the next one. So now we loaded it back up and we're in the next room. And it looks like another unfinished room. But it's just kind of hard to see, so we're just going to kind of jump around a little bit. It did look like there was something up above, right in the beginning over to the left. So we'll go explore that here in just a second. Just don't want to just don't want to miss anything. Kind of keep a mental note of what's around. All right. This is a really big room. Again, it's always weird seeing it without the the textures and other things. I'm so glad that I've got all my abilities to be able to look around the room and see what I can and can't get to. So we'll try and uh, we'll crystal hard off that wall to see how far over we can get. Like, so this room's called Fungus 345. Alright. Oh. Thought I had to be a little lower. Whoops. Alright, so a little further. Let's see about that. There we go. Ooh, did you see there was another spot that I could get to? And right there as well. Okay, what is... Okay, so this was the very beginning. We'll do Crystal Heart Cancel. We'll do that again here. No, nothing there. Okay. Are there any other spots we can get to? I think there's one more in the middle of the room coming from the other side. I could have swore there's one other spot we might be able to get up to. Right there. Oh, nope. That was the same spot. Okay. So that's pretty much the whole room. Not a whole lot to it. And uh, we'll just go ahead. Oh, always got to check the map. Wayward Compass shall be my guide. Not just still forgotten crossroads. All right. Next room. All right, so I just checked the README file, and it says that this one is Fungus 346, and it's actually got a bad entrance and no texture, so we will move on to the next one. It's kind of silly. Like, why even include this? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Next one. Ooh. This looks kind of cool. This kind of reminds me of the Crystal Peaks, and oh, check that out. Mine's 12. Um, yeah, this looks like it. Oh! <laughs> oh, I fell off the map. Oh, and I just now heard myself fall. I think I'm below the map right now. I don't know how far down I am, but we'll just kind of look at everything. I mean, it definitely looks like the mines. And these areas kind of look like where those pistons would have been, like just slamming down. Kind of, sort of. Um, and then you can also see in the background how there's uh, there's definitely little shards of uh, crystal in the back, too. Very interesting. Yeah, this looks like it would have been some interesting platforming and then having to worry about... Oh, am I, am I just at the bottom? Can I... It won't let me do my double jump and it won't let me come up at all, but... Yeah, I can't even walk to... Oh, now I can walk to the right. Weird. I can't double jump or anything, but... An interesting room nonetheless. I wonder if there... I mean, there's probably would have been something at the end of the road here, but... I don't know. Maybe they just decided there was nothing worth uh, worth putting there. So, all right. Hopefully we can get to the next room without it crashing. Hey, look at that. Okay, so now we are over in Mines 14. And I imagine this area would be near the Crystal Peak. I mean, it just looks like the same area. Oh, look at this. They actually have a breakable wall. Hmm, excuse me. <laughs> look at this. They actually have a breakable wall, but it actually has no texture to it. Nothing to interact with. I wonder what's down there. I mean, that looks like that's like a, you're going to get into a fight down there. We'll, we'll look at what's up here real quick. Oh, man. We're going to have to crystal heart over there. Okay. 
So let's come down. Ooh, oh yeah, that's a that's a boss fight. They opened that up for sure. Wow, that's kind of a cool. And then this would probably open. That probably was even a gate, maybe? Like, it's not like you just run away. Oh, it's only partially built. Check that out. I wonder if this would have even been open. Like, you can see the, the crystals up above. Interesting. I love exploring this stuff. This is so cool. All right, so I don't want to leave yet. I wonder... Okay, no, no, not... Oh, look, they've even got... Oh, wow. I wonder if this was originally how they were going to have it. So you leave the area with your Crystal Heart ability. And they're like, yeah, that's cool. But then they decide to make something, like, really big and grand. You know, in, like, the, the top area of the Crystal Peaks right next to Cornifer when you go to leave? Like, this is that same area just super scaled down. And they're like, nah, fam, we can do better than that. That's cool. They, they, they must have said they, that it's just not enough. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, not much over here. Anything up? That nah, doesn't really look like it. Okay, okay. Pretty sure that is... That's going to be everything for this room. Honestly, I, I'm at the point where I've, I've figured out where every time you try to leave a room, it's, they're, they're dead. It just makes the game crash. But, I don't know. This, this is kind of cool. So you can even see the same track. And this is probably up in that, that top left area too. And they just they just scrapped it. And they're like, yeah, this isn't good enough. Ah, I love it. It's, it's like you get to kind of peer into their minds a little bit. Let's see what they're doing here. All right, let's check out the next room. All right, so another room that's not complete. This one's called the church. Room church. So I can only imagine that this might have been... Oh, well, I don't know. Originally, I was thinking something with a uh, Gru's mother, but even from very early game concept art, it was, or I don't know about concept art, but very early on in the game, it was kind of the same thing where you, you, Gru's mother was always in the same spot and she was always in a church. So for this room church, I, I wonder if this was, maybe this was a room that you would enter like below the church or maybe you could enter the church at some point they were thinking about it and it just kind of never came to light. I don't know. I mean, it's completely empty, so it's really hard to speculate. I guess we can, yeah, it's still looking at Forgotten Crossroads. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the next room. Oh. And so this is just a drop into Dirtmouth. Interesting. So, I'm just reading online right now. It says something like, uh, it makes it so you have an easy escape route if you ever get locked out. You could just, uh, change scenes and you just drop into Dirt Mouth. Okay. Easy enough. And it, that was also the, the last room. Dropping into Dirt Mouth was the last thing. So, Overall, I thought that was super interesting. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought and what was your favorite room and what you thought some of those rooms were used for because that was really, really cool. Um, other than that, just make sure to subscribe for even more Hollow Knight content, tips, tricks, and how-to videos. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more soon.